guys, how you doing right here? Uh, today, what I, what I have with me is the Schechter Sun Valley Shredder um, guitar I picked up, I guess just a little, uh, a little under two weeks ago. And um, I've kind of been in this mode of wanting to try some of the uh, different uh, guitars that are out there that I normally would steer, not clear from, but I've had a few uh, different Schecters and I, I'd say one of my favorite Schecters was actually C1 Hellraiser. I have a couple of variations of that guitar over the years. Um, but I've been impressed with Schechter. I think you get a good bang for the buck. I think their guitars are reasonably priced. I think this thing was around 600 bucks or something. And they boast that it has all of the hot rotted parts of, uh, you know, that a shredder guitar of this type would have. So I've been giving it the rundown with my um, Mesa, uh, the RA, and then also I've got a uh, triple rectifier and then my little dual rectifier uh, little mini rectifier here, which is an awesome amp, by the way. Um, kind of giving it the rundown and uh, testing it out and been fairly impressed with this guitar, to be honest with you. Uh, solid body guitar, uh, retroactive pickups, which was something I was a little uh, unfamiliar with. I've been um, no stranger to the EMG pickups. Uh, it's the first time I've actually played the retroactive pickups. and. Um, as I'll show you here in a little bit, I was actually fairly impressed with the ability to kind of go back and forth between anything from a clean to a mid-heavy to a little bit more of a heavy. It's got a good balance. I've been impressed with them so far. Um, they seem to uh, hold up quite well and, and not too bright, not too muddy. Um, kind of a nice balance, so I've, I've been fairly impressed with them so far. Uh, Floyd Rose, uh, I've had several different Floyd Roses and some, you know, you may feel the same way I do sometimes uh, over the years. It's been a love-hate relationship with Floyd Rose. Um, I think they've done a great job of finding the balance of the years. I've had different variations of this tremolo. Um, I was a little skeptical because when it comes to Floyd Rose, I want to make sure, um, you know, you're not getting some of the less quality, if you will, or unlicensed, I guess they, they call it. Um, this is called their, uh, their uh, I believe this is their hot rod version of the Floyd Rose here. Um, sometimes, you know, when you're using your Floyd, bring it back up, tuning is an issue. I will say right off the bat, I have yet to find a tremolo that has worked as well as this one with regards to tuning. I mean, when I'm talking, I haven't touched the tuning on this thing. I mean, I don't touch it when I pick it up. All my other guitar, every one of my guitars, I pick them up no matter what. Winter, summer, played it yesterday, played it 10 minutes ago. There's always some fine tuning. I literally don't touch the tuning on this guitar, even using the bar. It's been really... I mean, it is dead on every time. So I've been very impressed with that. I did put some different strings on it. I put some, um, the uh, of course I'm gonna forget the name of them now. The uh, um, I'll get back to that in a little bit. It's the uh, what is it? The NY. Uh, I can't remember the name of the strings. I've been an early Ernie Ball fan. That's why for for years, and I've tried all sorts of different strings. And then recently, uh, tried the different ones. It's the NY string. I'm, I'm forgetting it because I've only recently put all these different strings. I kind of like the way they feel on the guitars and figures with uh, time for a change. Um, so I put some 9 through 46s on it. Um, feels great, been impressed with it so far. Uh, mahogany body, maple neck on this bad boy here. Um, feels really good, it feels like it's very comfortable holding it in different different um, positions. I really, I really, uh, feels comfortable and you know playing uh, high up in the neck playing low it's got you know a very comfortable feel to it uh, 24 frets on it a 25 and a half inch scale um, I believe that it has on it the they call it the polyester gloss finish uh, this is called their Lambo orange they have a few different colors um, I picked this one they also have um, a black I believe it is and they have I think it's called seafoam green green and then this was their Lambo uh, orange, of course, I believe taken from uh, Lamborghini. I don't believe they could fully say that, but licensing issues. But called Lambo Orange. I thought it was kind of a, a unique color. 
And you can see, I, unfortunately, I still haven't taken off the paper on the pick guard yet, but um, it's got a three-way toggle on it. Um, two uh, different uh, volume pots here. There isn't a tone pot, and I, I don't know how you feel about your tone. I use my tone pot. That was one thing I didn't really think of, even when I was playing it. Mm. Um, I do like my tone because I do like to back it off between if I'm playing leads or if I'm playing kind of chunky. I always do like to kind of adjust or fine tune my tone, and unfortunately this doesn't have one. Um, that's one thing I, I know a lot of different guitarists and a lot of different guitars um, uh, you'll find don't have tone knobs. I actually like them. Um, I don't know how you feel about it, but I do like the ability to kind of adjust uh, while I'm playing. Um, Three-way, of course. Um, there's one cool little feature I thought that was kind of neat about this. If you are to um, back your volume down, or even I think uh, on your uh, neck versus your bridge, this one little thing I thought was kind of cool. It's kind of got a little bit of a little bit of play that you could use that if you wanted to. I not that I do that too often, but I just kind of found that today and thought that was kind of a cool little feature. Um, let's see what else is on this bad boy that, that I've liked. It's 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 got a very comfortable neck as I was talking before. Um, a 24 uh, frets on this bad boy, 14 inch radius. Um, it's not so chunky, but not so thin. It's actually a really nice balance. Again, comfortable. Uh, the guitar feels balanced very nicely uh, in all positions. It just kind of sits well, um, whether you have it on your knee or if you're playing it a little bit lower. Um, very easy to uh, to play, very comfortable. Um, locking triggers on the neck up here, I have adjusted that uh, when I put the different strings on it, tighten it once, um, and I literally have not touched them since. It, it's been really, really uh, a player's guitar. We're not having to mess with anything on this thing. Um, these are the JO3M tuners on it. The Schecter uses a few different versions uh, from their own brand of Schecter. Uh, the JO3Ms is what's on this one. Of course, they also use Grover tuners and then some different variations of those. With some of their guitars, like their C1, I believe, uses the Grovers one I have. Um, I do love the Grovers, and I'm a big fan of Grover tuners. I put them on a lot of my different, on my, uh, my guitars. These are not bad, especially with the locker. You're locking um, uh, nuts up here, kind of put it in, and then kind of you don't have to really mess with it. So it's been a good guitar so far. I have played around with some tuning, of course, when you're messing with your... Uh, we have Floyd Rose, of course. Um, now, I can't confirm this because I'm trying to find uh, confirmation, but from what I've read and from what I've talked to different people in the theaters, adjusting the action of the guitar. When you buy this guitar, the action was set very high. I mean, high. Um, right off the shelf, uh, really high up. Um, these two little Allen keys right here, and I have read and I've owned Floyd Rose before where you can you can damage the knife edges on these here. Um, I am hearing that to adjust this, tighten it to lower the action, loosen it to raise it. I'm a little nervous until I can actually get some confirmation on that. Um, a, couple of different luth a couple of different luthiers have said yes, that's fine. I've even reached out to Schecter. I want to make sure um, I have damaged the knives before, the edges on these, um, and so I want to be very careful with that. Um, other than that, it's been a it's been a really fun guitar. Sorry for all the noise and turn it off. Uh, one of the other features I think is pretty cool. When you are adjusting, um, if you are going to use a different set of strings, or if you want to adjust your string action, um, if you want to um, or adjust your tuning, I'm sorry. Um, it's got easy access. You don't have to take the plate off, which I thought was pretty cool. You can adjust um, the screws right here on the claws and you know, kind of tighten up and loosen as needed. And again, if you are adjusting for your tuning, uh, one of the best things, of course, is block it, um, adjust your tuning, set it, and then dial in your tuning here, which a couple different tricks that I found was pretty neat. Stable, put a new battery in it. Um, of course, probably don't need to adjust the battery too often. I don't think it's much of a drain on it. But um, again, it's been a really good guitar. I have had several different types of guitars. As you know, I have multiple guitars. Um, everything from Les Pauls to some different types of shredders. I didn't really see that. I never really felt the C1 was a shredder. It was a good, chunky, hard guitar. Um, I, I, I don't know. I never really felt like it was much. It, it does leads great, and I, I it played, but it was a great, chunky guitar, and that's what I really enjoyed about the C1. This guitar definitely feels like it's been made um, for you know. Bends on this thing is extremely easy. The neck, um, 
It's real. It's got a very smooth feel to it and it's enjoyable to play. So I've enjoyed it. I've uh, actually done a couple of um, tracks so you can hear, hear it. Uh, some heavy stuff as well as some clean stuff and so we'll play some of that for you now. Give you a chance to kind of hear what the guitar sounds like. I'll be playing it through um, uh, Mesa RA and then some also through Mesa um, triple rectifier and dual rectifier. So uh, take a listen, see what you, I know it's kind of hard to tell, but at least give you some understanding. Uh, you may be familiar with the sounds of the, the Mesa. Uh, so now you can kind of get a, a sense of what this sounds like, both with clean and um, with some of the heavier stuff. So let's give it a listen. Different, um, different tracks, different sounds of kind of a cleaner sound with some of the more gain. Um, I hope you could kind of really hear it. I um, wanted to be able to put it in a setting so you could hear it in a mix and then also kind of uh, independent. So that's the, uh, the Schechter Sun Valley um, Shredder. I think that in the last part Shredder sounds goofy. It's the FR version with the Floyd Rose. Um, if you have any questions or would like to know anything about the guitar or just have any comments, please feel free to leave them in below and always, of course, subscribe if you would like to. Um, thanks a lot and I hope this was helpful and uh, I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.